Hello, welcome to an update from the Slugs Garden. Remember that patio I dug up? Well, this is what it looked like a week ago. It's May the 24th and basically I've spent all of April bringing the plants in and out, in and out to avoid the frost. One thing I didn't anticipate was gale force winds. So since recording this video, some of the plants have died. This is what the garden looked like before the gale force winds. For two days, I was actually really happy. I thought all the work had paid off. This is the oldest of the courgettes. That snapped at the stalk actually and came back, so don't give up on anything. Here's the younger courgettes. The flowers are male and female on courgettes and you will have to pollinate them, but I'll show you that another time. Okay, the broccolis are looking pretty good. I've had them wrapped up in nets for at least a month because wood pigeons love to peck at them, but not eat them. Same for the chard, and generally baby leaves of spinach and beetroot protect them from the birds. These are the onions I grew from seed from January. They were a bit of a surprise to be fair. Beetroot, they were started off inside and planted out. Spinach, chard, more beetroot. These ones were planted directly. Use your little plastic punnets to protect them from the birds. More things coming through from seed as well, planted directly. Some beetroot, some chard. There are marigolds everywhere, by the way. You need some pollinators around. Nasturtium. Fortunately, the pigeons have stopped pecking that. These are the peppers that were started off from seed inside, and here is a rubbish wind block I made. Needless to say, that did not survive the gale force winds. This is an aubergine, and we move on to some herbs. Lots of parsley, one little sage, chives, basil, mint, oregano, thyme. These are the oldest of the tomato plants, doing nicely. Everything's wind scorched from February really, when I took it all outside a bit too soon. Don't be scared of gaffer in the garden. Some more tomatoes, different types, sun gold and tumbling tom, sugar snap peas, trellis is doing okay although it's not great, and I'll plant this tomato straight into the ground later. Okay, these are the oldest peppers, they're flowering already so that's a good sign. Some more peppers and some broad beans with a homemade trellis. This is an aubergine in a pot. Generally, I'm trying to plant one in the ground and one in a pot to see which does better. And these are the next generation of tomatoes and aubergines and herbs. Uh, I really recommend sowing salad leaves in shallow trays. They don't need a lot of nutrition and they'll grow quite quickly. You can just trim them when you want to. Some wild rocket. That's some nigella flowers coming through and another tray of baby leaf. Okay, a note about watering. I wouldn't recommend using a hose pipe and drenching everything. Not at this early stage. It's best to control your watering. Get it directly onto the roots, not all over the leaves. Also, careful of the precious seedling. If you get any water on the leaves of basil, they will rot. It's quite annoying actually.
you might get a buildup of aphids or black fly, just use a paintbrush to brush them off, especially off the peppers and the aubergines. Pinch off your tomatoes to encourage the growth into the fruit. I'm not a fan of doing this, I just think the more the merrier, but I'm trying different things with different tomatoes. Okay, this is a little wigwam structure I built for the tomato I've just planted out this afternoon. I'm hoping that I can train it to grow inside. So generally, things have gone quite well. I'll have to do an update video to see how badly the wind has damaged everything. I know it's killed two broccolis, but what can you do? It's only veg. Anyway, hope you're doing all right. It's not too late to start planting.